So yeah, this is a piece of bread, but there's more to it. This involves a worm, to be specific, a white worm. You see, these white worms live in soil under a piece of glass, and they're very small, and to get them to come to the surface, this is where the bread comes into play. So what's the point of the white worm, and what's the point of the bread? Well, I'm gonna show you. And if you love really, really cool fish, then stay tuned. This is Hoover, the holstering loach. He's involved in the story. These are my coolie loaches. They're also part of the story. I have a pea puffer. He's pretty dope. He's pretty chill. He's pretty inquisitive. And some bubblebee gobies. At this point, it's pretty obvious, right? Why am I using the white worms for and why are there fish involved? You see, I have fish that only eat live food. That's right, only eat live food. So I have to raise these worms for my fish that only eat live food. Look at them. They're hunters. They're predators. They're greedy. They're voracious. The pea puffer it originates from the southwest parts of India. Don't be fooled by its size. It's small, but it's aggressive. These fish are scavengers, and it's feeding time. Even the snail knows for what's to come, and it flees. Oh, you thought it was going to be a fun and happy story instead of dark and gloomy. Well, this newt thinks otherwise. This adult Japanese fire-bellied newt is basically fully aquatic, and he's enjoying some bloodworms. He also loves live food, but he'll also eat these dead frozen worms. This adult Japanese fire-bellied newt has anti-Semitic colouring. He wants to look dangerous. He also has digitoxins in his skin. Being an amphibian, he's fairly toxic. He's going to scavenge the ground because he's a voracious eater. The Kuli Loach and the Bumblebee Gobi both originate from Southeast Asia, and now they cause terror and havoc in my aquarium. Now I want you to watch this carefully. The Bumblebee Gobi rejects the frozen bloodworms because they only eat live food. Hence, the white worms being part of the story. My fiance thinks he's small, he's cute, he's so innocent. Look at that little face. But I'm like, nah, nah. He's waiting for his next worm to rip apart into pieces. So if you want a small tank and you want some small fish, get these fish. They'll rip some worms apart. This is the story of the small fish and the white worms. I'll leave it there for now. It's time for night.